This is flight test number four for the electric motor glider prototype. Today's weather is nice and sunny, and we've been having winds at 9 miles per hour, gusting to 16 miles per hour. Yeah, that last launch was perfect. For this test flight, we're going to be pulling the aircraft into the air using a four-wheeler and approximately 800 feet of tow line. Wind went down a price. That? The aircraft, we are yet unaware. Yeah, that it's more crosswind. The aircraft is quite a bit crosswind. Going to experience its first rope break only on the third test flight. on that one. Okay, are we ready? The wind is straightened out, it looks like, on the sock. Yeah, well, we know it's, it's, it's coming from side to side, so I'm going to start. I like that angle right there. That's looking okay. pretty good. Okay, we're ready to go. On the takeoff roll, everything is going smoothly. We keep the climb attitude relatively shallow, especially during the initial phase of takeoff, and even beyond that because we're doing this all as a prototype test flight scenario. In case you see the rope break, the aircraft pitch forward, and the drogue chute falling below. I'm checking below the aircraft to see if I've still got a rope line attached. And now the job is just to continue the flight and complete a successful landing after the aborted launch. back through each one of the cameras and analyze what actually took place. If we look at the wing mounted camera we can see the drogue chute and leader line pulling forward from the aircraft and as the rope breaks the drogue chute pulls the leader line underneath the aircraft and automatically releases it from the aircraft as it's designed to do. On the strut camera we can see the same thing occur and we can see the ring automatically pull back and release. 
and then I continue to pull the release handle just to ensure that I've gotten rid of the tow line and it's not dangling underneath the aircraft. If we look at the cockpit camera, you get to see the pitching moment that occurs at the moment that the rope breaks. And then we're checking between our legs to see that the rope is not still attached to the aircraft. And then we continue the landing. Plenty of room left over. And then if we'll look at the stationary camera on the ground, you could see a nice gentle toe going aloft. And you can see the rope break and the drogue chute pull underneath the aircraft. And the pitching moment associated with that. And of course we have only a couple hundred feet above the ground and so there's no way to return and circle to the airport. We have to land going straight ahead. But we leave lots of excess room when we're doing these maneuvers so that um, we could have a failure at any point.